Okay, we just counted nickels and we had 40 cents worth of nickels. And now we are going to count by tens and we are going to count dimes. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We have 100 cents. One dollar is worth 100 cents. Great job. What I'd like to do today is finish reading Do Not Open This Crate, Cat in a Hat by Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss was what? What did he do? Was he a scientist or was he an author? He was an author. He was actually a lot of things. But um, we celebrate him as being an author. We know him as an author. Um, he created a lot of cool stories and a lot of interesting characters. So let's finish reading chapter six. Look at him. Is he big or little? Huge, I think the word was. What does the word huge mean? It means big. He's a very big man. Okay. Conrad had to fight the giant Quinn. But how? A giant, when you're a giant, you are big. He noticed a flashlight nearby and reached for it. But Quinn grabbed it first. Is this what you wanted, said Quinn? It's just a stupid flashlight. He tossed it back to Conrad and laughed. A word of advice, said the cat. Get some imagination, fast. Imagination, Conrad wondered what the cat meant. Then he knew. If the cat's magic crate could change the whole house, maybe it could change other things too. Just a flashlight, Conrad said. He flipped on the beam. Or is it a baseball bat? And that, at that, excuse me, the beam took the shape of a giant baseball bat. Conrad swung the beam, whacked Quinn in the leg. Ow! Quinn cried out and dropped Sally. Sally fell through the air. Hey! She screamed. Conrad bounced onto the sofa and sprang up to grab her. Your ride is here, he told her. He clicked on the flashlight. The beam became a fire pole. Down they slid to safety. How cool is that? That's it, Quinn yelled. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Better think fast, Conrad told himself. He saw a painting on the wall and grabbed it. All aboard. All aboard. Christian, ready? All aboard. He shouted. The train in the painting roared right out of the frame. It headed straight for Quinn and scooped him up. Then it chugged right back into the painting. Next stop, next door, and that's where you belong, said Conrad. He hung the painting back on the wall. The cat smiled and said, well, that certainly shows you the danger of having a one-track mind. Get it? One track? <laughs> because there's only one train track? Okay, one way of thinking. All right, chapter, what chapter are we on? Chapter 7. Let's hurry up and shut the crate, Sally told Conrad. Mom will be home soon. They each grabbed one end of the crate's lid. One, two, three, said Conrad. Close it, said Sally. Together they slammed the lid down tight. Then Conrad clicked the lock. Do not open this crate. Stand back, said the cat. Suddenly a great roar filled the air. A big funnel cloud rose up. It grabbed chairs, tables, lamps, and books. Everything started flying over their heads. Finally, the funnel was sucked back into the crate. It rattled one last time. Then everything was still. Wow, everything is back to normal, said Sally. Then she pointed to the coffee table. Even Mom's vase, the broken vase, was fixed. It looked good as new. Hold your applause. What does the word applause mean? When somebody claps for you, that's applause. When people clap, that's applause. Clapping is applause. I'm a shy guy. The cat saw thing one and thing two. They were peeking in from around the corner. The coast is clear, he called to them. Come on out. It's time to go. Where are you going, asked Sally. My work here is done, said the cat. Unless you two are still bored, because if you are, I'll just open the crate again. Conrad looked at Sally. No way, they said together. 
Then thing one and thing two lifted the crate and carried it out. Oh, and Conrad, said the cat, just remember one thing. The next time you want to unlock a crate that says do not open, yes, says Conrad, I may not be here to help. Which means do not touch things that don't belong to you. I'll remember, promised Conrad. And if he doesn't remember, said Sally, I'll remind him. Good, said the cat. Then he tipped his tall hat and he waved goodbye. And Conrad and Sally breathed a very big sigh. <sighs> That's the end of the story. I will see you tomorrow, the 1st of April. Okay. Bye.